Hey everyone, we're going to talk about how to use emojis effectively on Instagram via your computer slash desktop. So let's get into it. So if I'm on my home screen, my home, and this is just my home feed where I can view all the people's posts that I follow, um, you'll see that obviously I can interact with posts directly on this feed. Um, this is opposed to going to someone's individual profile and interacting with their content there. So obviously I've got the usual functions here, uh, like, comment, send and save. Um, and then down here I can select an emoji to post as a comment. So on this post here, I just hit the smiley face and I am served uh, a host of emojis to choose from. Obviously the ones at the top here are the most popular, the most frequently used, and then the rest are in their usual categories for you to choose from. So you can see that they're all there, it's smileys, um, animals and nature, food and drink, and so on. You scroll down, select the ones that you want. Now I will note that compared to the Instagram app, the only thing this emoji list doesn't have are the national flags. So a lot of times people will include flags. So say if you know this is an Aussie company, I would be like, oh, great Aussie workmanship. I might put an Aussie flag there, but this on the desktop, Instagram desktop doesn't have that there. So let's say I'm going to choose an emoji. Let's do a sky with the shine eyes. And I will say in terms of best practices, don't just post an emoji as a comment. Always add some, I always add a caption to it. So uh, amazing work. Team. This is great to see. Um, obviously, they're talking about um, the minimus piece, so and I do really love those. So I'm just going to put love the because um, it shows that I've obviously read the caption, and then I'm going to mention them as well. So it's a really valuable comment. So I just hit post. Okay. So that's great. So now that we've done that, I was thinking about it and it's done. Let's talk about posting uh, emojis within your own posts because there's a couple things I want to mention for you as well. So hit create as if you're going to create your own post and I have covered this entire process um, in another video so please go and watch that. But let me just drag and drop some content um, for you to use an example. This is just a um, image that I used for a recent video, feel free to go and watch that. Um, so obviously I formatted it for the horizontal format, I click next, and again I've gone through all of these functions and features in a different video, click next. Okay, so here we are, obviously I'm writing my caption, hello, watch my video, that is a, ter <laughs> that's a terrible caption, do better than that, because that's a terrible, anyways, that's just for uh, the reference point but if we go down to your emojis here this is what I want to show you so once again you are served these most popular emojis that's fine but as you can see the whole emoji list is really small like you you really can't see it very well you kind of got to know what you're looking for because it's not the easiest and I I actually have a conspiracy theory that Instagram do this on purpose because I think they prefer people using their mobile app because of the data capture versus the um, Instagram app. Anyways, I won't get into that. I didn't put my tinfoil hat away. Either way, what I'm trying to tell you is that this is not a great user experience. So say, for example, you want to use this person walking great okay and then say I wanted a, a second person if I click the smiley face I have to scroll all the way down again which look it's not the worst thing in the world but in terms of UX it's not perfect so um, you know there's my, there's my other person um, and then again similar to the other way of using emojis if you scroll right to the bottom there are no flags so yeah okay that's it hope that's useful uh, take a look at my other videos and as always like subscribe and follow. All right. Bye for now, everyone.